Hello and welcome to a Canon 70D tip. Today, setting up an intervalometer on your iPhone. This is especially useful if you want to do time lapse on the go. This tip comes from suggestions that some of you left on my using a Mac for an intervalometer. In this case, you won't need a Wi Fi network to connect to, so it's even better. Let's start by setting up the iPhone. You'll need to install two apps. The first one is Apple's Test Flight app, and the second one is Control My Camera. Go to the App Store and search for Test Flight. Install it, and when it's finished installing, go to Safari. Search for Control My Camera, and click on the link that says Test Flight. Control My Camera Test Flight. Click on the link that says Control My Camera Test Flight Build. When you click on it, it's going to open the Test Flight app automatically and ask if you want to install Control My Camera. Press Install. It'll install like a normal app. Once you have that, open the app. The developer will have a control screen to say what are the latest things that he's updated, and it's as updated as the launch of the R6. He also asks for your feedback. Since he's still developing the program, the more screenshots of errors that you can send to him, the better. Once you get to the application's main screen, now it's time to set up the Canon 70D. Go to Menu, and now go to the right until you reach the third wrench, the one that has Wi-Fi. We're going to enable Wi-Fi. We're going to go to Wi-Fi function. So the next steps, it's only if you've never used Wi-Fi with your computer or iPhone. If you have, first reset all Wi-Fi settings and then do the setup. The first thing we need to do after resetting the Wi-Fi settings is putting a name for your camera or the Wi-Fi um, SSID. I normally write Canon 70D, or in this case, I'm just going to do C70D. You can rename it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter, as long as you remember it to connect to it. We're going to press on OK. We're going to do Connect to Smartphone, Camera Access Point Mode, Easy Connection. Go down to OK. And now we're going to go back to our phone, we're going to open up Wi-Fi and we're going to connect to the network we just created. So in my case, C70D. It's going to ask for a password. Just write the password that is on the screen of your Canon. When you have, it tells you to start the EOS app on the smartphone. You don't need to do this. Open up Control My Camera app and press on the Wi-Fi signal with Canon under it. And you'll see that it will search the Wi-Fi for a Canon camera. On the camera now, you'll see that the screen changed and it says connect to this smartphone. Press OK. And you can give the settings a name or you can just press OK. For now, I'm just going to leave the name that it says, set one. You'll see that the app has gone into its main photography window. On the app, if you press the camera button on the left, it will release the shutter of the Canon remotely. That is my wonderful picture. On the top left of the app, you'll see a symbol with an L and a V. If you press on it, you're going to have the live view mode of your Canon 70D. So whatever he is seeing, you will see on the smartphone screen. To go out of live view mode, just press on it again. Now, to the intervalometer. On the right side of the screen, there's a couple of symbols. You can scroll up or down. Scroll down until you see the stopwatch symbol. And that goes into the interval timer menu. Here you have a configuration. So you can select how many frames you want and what is the interval in seconds in between each one. So in this case, to do an example, I'm going to set the frame count at 5. And I'm going to change the interval in between each frame to five seconds. And I'm going to press start. And as you see, my camera receives a signal from the phone. And every five seconds, it will take a picture. Now, if you guys are following this, you'll probably say, that doesn't really look like five seconds. 
And that's because one thing is delaying the interval timer, which is the download of the pictures. So if you see, every single time I take a picture, it downloads it, and only afterwards does it do the next shot. In some cases, it actually does two shots in a row. So what we're going to do to eliminate that lag, because basically it's the phone downloading the image off the camera onto the phone, so that's occupying the Wi-Fi connection, and it is pretty slow. We're going to go to the right, we're going to scroll up, and that top icon, the one that looks like a couple of equalizer or levers, uh, we're going to press on that one, which is the Control My Camera Settings menu. And you'll see on the left, there's a menu item that says Quick Image Review After Capture. We're going to deselect that option. We're going to go out of this menu by pressing on the cross. And now we're going to go into our Interval Timer menu yet again. So scroll down on the right of the screen. Press on that stopwatch to get into the interval timer. And let's try again. Now, five seconds with a two second interval. And you'll see that it actually does it much better than the first time around. So every two seconds, we have a shutter release. I hope you guys like this Canon tip and you're able to use your iPhone as an intervalometer for your time lapses. As always, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be launching a couple more Canon 70D or 80D tips.